Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Keto Cooking with Ron and I'm Ron. Well, today we're gonna to be making the best keto rolls. And I haven't made these before and I really miss bread being on keto. And I like to have like uh, egg sandwiches other than with the shackles that I make and stuff like that. So today we're experimenting from a recipe brought to you by Keto Focus. And I'm gonna go over the, uh, the ingredients, but first we'll take a quick peek at this. Well, that's my uh, new intro that I had somebody made. Let me know what you think about it, but I really liked it. It only cost me $5 for our website called Fiverr, and I'll put the link below the video. I got three of the intros the guy made me for $15, and I, I, you know, I think they're really good. They, they look really professional, and I'm happy with it. But, uh, but so, before we get started, we're gonna have uh, the ingredients for the best gluten-free keto roll. You'll need three cups of mozzarella cheese, four ounces of cream cheese, two eggs, two and a half cups of almond flour, one fourth of a cup of coconut flour, one fourth of a cup of buttermilk or plain yogurt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half a teaspoon of baking powder, and then a half a teaspoon of salt. And I'll have the instructions over the timeline and then the first uh, thing that she had done after she put her cheese the half a block of cheese and the uh, the mozzarella cheese into a container. She took it in the uh, melt it in the microwave for one minute intervals, and then she uh, when she got it to the texture she wanted, she dumped it into a food processor along with the almond flour and along with the uh, coconut flour. So when I get to all that process, I'll, sh I'll show you how it's all done. And the reason why you put it in the microwave is to soften it up so you can have like a doughy texture to work with. And then we'll as we as we uh, cook it in the one minute intervals, we'll, we'll stir it and stir it and stir it. And it might take one or two minutes and we'll get it to the texture that we want. But enough said, let's go right to that. And uh, at this point, I'll kill the video. And then we'll, when we come back, we'll be in the back room and I'll have the camera pointing down and probably another side camera so you can see what's going on. So okay, so let's get right to it. And then I'll give you my taste test how this recipe came on after we got it made. Well, we'll come back in the back room. Today we're gonna be making the best gluten-free keto rolls according to Keto Focus and for this particular recipe she says to use three cups of mozzarella cheese four ounces of cream cheese and we're gonna need two eggs for our dry ingredients we have two and a quarter cups of almond flour one quarter of a cup of coconut flour we have one teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and we have one teaspoon of baking soda. There is a difference, okay? So this is all our dry ingredients. Now the only thing that I don't have, that she says to use, is one quarter of a cup plain yogurt, and I'm gonna swap what I have for uh, sour cream. On this particular cream cheese and the uh, mozzarella cheese, at this point we're gonna go bring it in the microwave oven, and we're gonna soften it up at one minute intervals. It might take two minutes, it might take three minutes, but we'll do it at one minute at a time and then we'll stir it up with the uh, stirrer. And when you get it to a texture that I can work with, we'll dump it into the food processor, which you already have in the back room. We'll take all the dry ingredients, just put everything into the food processor and just let it mix for a few seconds and then we'll pop it out and we'll make our rolls and hopefully we'll get some nice uh, keto rolls out of this. But this is the basic recipe and I'm following according to the letter. How the, uh, the only thing, like I said, the only thing I don't have is the uh, yogurt, but we're going to use sour cream instead and that should work fine too. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and just do this and see what happens. This is about a minute now, so it's not quite there yet. I'm gonna have to do it in another minute or two. But I'm just gonna keep working it until you, until you get some type of a doughy uh, texture. Okay, so it's been two minutes now, cooking in the microwave. You can see the texture is where we want it to be. Cheese is all nice and melted and incorporated with the uh, cream cheese. Now 
out. Let's go move that back in the back room. So at this point, we're just gonna take the, uh, the melted cheese and we're just gonna dump it right into the processor. Trying to move it away from the side so I can get a nice clean transfer. Just like that. And just like that. You might not see too much of it from the overhang. Sorry about the shakiness of the camera. Okay. At this point, we got all the uh, cheese in the food processor. We're gonna put the uh, our potted stuff in here. Hopefully, we're not not making too much of a mess. Just a little bit at a time. A little bit at a time. Okay. Now at this point, you should already have your oven preheated to 400 degrees. Because these will go on a sheeting pan, a flat sheeting pan, and we'll roll them up into a one and a half to two inch uh, balls, okay? And that's a uh, coconut flour and the almond flour and all the other dried ingredients. I don't want to use it up. At this point, I'm gonna Move the overhead camera, kill the overhead camera, and you got the side camera on my desk. So you can get an idea on what's going on and hopefully you won't have a mess all over the place. So let me kill the top camera. And I close the lid on my camera so I don't get powder and stuff all over the place in case you have an accident. Okay, so I'm gonna... Now, I, my uh, cap thing, the thing that broke that, that closed the lid, but it still works. Eventually I want to get a new one of these too. So you just close that and lock it in place. And we're going to give it some, we're going to pulse it. And we're going to get it to uh, incorporate nice like a kind of like a doughy texture. Got a little bit of uh, Pam in my hands, and that's what I'm spraying with. Oh, a little bit of oil, so I can use that to work with. Like I said, I never made these before. I don't know how they're gonna come out. This is the first for me. I can tell you right now, the dough is really uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. See. Whatever it makes, I don't know. So at this point, I got my mobile camera on right now because I didn't want to get my uh, overhead camera all messed up. So make sure you spread them out enough. He like said, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work or not because I never made this before. Like when I'm rolling, how it's, it's rolling all right, but the problem is getting it out of there, and uh, your hands are really sticky, so that's why she recommends you keep spraying your hands or keep wetting them in water. But I'm, I'm rolling them out with no problem. I mean, I can't wait to try these. I mean, I don't know how they're gonna try, but. It's kind of fun experimenting. I mean, I often tell people don't be afraid to experiment, guys. You know, this, this is what quick cooking is all about. I mean, I'm a guy, and I never took home egg, so I kind of mess up between tablespoon and teaspoon sometime, or I, you know, I say the wrong things, and I meant to say another thing, and I do some corrections over the timeline. I'm gonna edit the video. with 
well with this. I'm gonna probably have to take out that uh, middle part of that a little while so I can get the rest of the yeah, okay, yeah, stuff out of it. And I'm just grabbing it and making a big ball that I can. So we're making dinner rolls tonight. Now, as I mentioned earlier in my video, on my opening up introduction. Now, I've been on keto now since 2020, and I love bread, but I don't eat, eat as much as, as I used to. I mean, I used to eat a whole, whole loaf of bread at a whack. I mean, I don't do that anymore. So at this point, I'm just going to grab what I can grab out of there. I don't want to cut myself with that blade. Just like that. I wanted to make sure I had a full scoop. I'm going to be uh, taking that blade out in a minute there so I don't cut myself so I can get the rest of that dough out of there. I mean, my, my wife's a peach there. She'll uh, clean up all this mess for me. It's about well, the dish part of it, anyways. So that's six we made so far, or what we have. We're trying to see if we can get that thing out of there. Like I said, I was just got done cutting myself a little bit, but I'm not bad, but it's not bleeding anyways, at least not yet. Alright, well, let's see what we can get out of here now for the rest of it so we can get this in the oven and get going. That's the only thing about the, uh, you gotta be really careful with the blades and everything with these uh, gadgets. Guys and gals, got any suggestions for me? You know? Yeah, it's starting to bleed a little bit. I mean, I'll live, I'll be alright. I cut myself bad, but. Yeah, so my suggestion would be that when you do this with the food processor, try to be very careful. And when you take any uh, your blade out, try not to cut yourself like I did. And, uh, you know, until you can get some work out some of this cheese and all this stuff that's over there at the bottom out of the uh, your food processor. So you can use it to make your... Oh yeah, we're going to get into like where the size hole out of this. <laughs>
Okay, so now we have them all made. What we're gonna do at this point, we're gonna go clean my hands up, put some water in my food processor. I'm gonna soften a little bit of butter up and get it melted a little bit, and I'm gonna put some butter on top of these and I'm gonna get them in the oven. Now, we already have the oven preheated to 400, so it shouldn't take that long to cook these, but I'm just doing it according to the, uh, and what I'm doing right now is I'm just pressing them down a little bit with the palm of my uh, hand. But yeah, I cut myself over there, but it's not bleeding. Okay, so we're back in the back in the front room now in the kitchen, and we got our balls or we got our, uh, our keto rolls already uh, flattened out a little bit, kind of make little sandwiches out of them. They're separated nice and even for us, so we're just gonna. It should be good. So at this point, we're just gonna melt a little bit of butter, put a little bit of butter on top of each one, and. Uh, Throw these in the oven for about eight to 12 minutes on 400 and hopefully we'll see what we got. Okay, so we have our rolls ready to have the butter put on. And we said we melted some butter and we're gonna leave it on there so we don't burn ourselves. And just take our brush and just spray uh, a little bit of butter on each one. It's just to help it brown a little bit and get a nice golden brown color. Now this is what you usually do with Thanksgiving, huh, Donna? I'm just coating each one about a tablespoon of butter, maybe a little bit more because I wanted to finish up that pile package. And you don't have to do both sides, just the top sides. All you're doing at this point is just uh, you want to get a nice uh, golden brown color out of this. get baked off in the oven for about uh, 12 to 13 minutes. Hi guys, welcome back to another edition of Keto Cooker with Ron, and I'm Ron. Well, with this particular recipe we made, uh, and this is the first for me guys, we made uh, gluten-free keto rolls. We made them kind of like hamburger rolls. They just came out of the oven. Look how nice and golden brown they are. And I never had these before. And uh, this is a first. So what we did was we took three cups of mozzarella cheese, uh, four ounces of cream cheese, and then we softened it up in the microwave for two minutes until we got a nice doughy texture, put it in the food processor, two and a quarter cups of almond flour, a fourth of a cup of coconut flour, a fourth of a cup of plain yogurt, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then what we did at that point, after what was combined into the food processor, we put the, uh, when, when, we, when we melted the cheese in the microwave, we put all the ingredients in the food processor with two eggs, and then we uh, pulsed it a few times, and we got like a doughy texture, and then I rolled them up into little balls, and then I flattened them down on the little pan a little bit, my palm of my hand like that, and then I put a little bit of butter on the top of it, and, and this is the, uh, look how golden brown that is, huh? And, and uh, that's the uh, texture I got from the top. And they're all, and I'm, I'm gonna pop one open and show you guys. I got a little bit of butter in there and uh, I'll give you my taste test here. And this is the first. I use the uh, Kerrygold butter, by the way. So, so let's pop one of these babies open. Look at that. my knife down look at look at look at that how, how good that is try one. Oh my word 
I'm telling you guys, these are the best. Look at that. Oh yeah, then what I did was I uh, I softened up some butter in the microwave and I coated each one with butter and then I added a little bit of pinch of salt on the top of each one. And they look, they look just like rolls, look at that. So we, a lot of you guys and gals have been after me, Ron, what are you eating today? Well, this is stuff that I've been wanting to make right along but I just haven't gotten around to doing it to now. And uh, I've been experimenting like crazy and I can't, I can't go over that. Look at that. It's just like one of those buns that you buy at Thanksgiving time. Well, in the bacon time, I put it in a preheated oven for 400. And then I uh, put it on for 12 minutes or until they were golden brown. Now, remember, your oven might be different than my oven as far as cooking time goes. But look at, look at how nice and Look at that, guys, huh? But like I said, um, I'm down over 100 and... Actually, 114 pounds now because I lost like a couple pounds for the weekend. It's only midweek. And I've been looking for other alternatives to bread. And this, I'm going to turn over another one so you guys can get an idea. It, feel, it feels like bread. It's nice and golden brown at the bottom. It's nice and brown at the top. I got the overhead camera going because I'm filming this out because I'm going to be putting together the recipe on uh, Keep Loving Keto. And uh, look, at, look at that, huh? Nice and golden brown. Now what what I would do with like like the other day um, if you haven't watched that video I made some uh, tuna patties and what, what what I would do with one of these is take two of these and flip them up like, side down like this and use them for like a hamburger patty that's why I made them like a sandwich and uh, what did she say there was only like about three or four cobs in each one and they're not that bad. But, uh, but this is what I made today. This is the first time I ever made this, and I, I'm so psyched, I can't believe it. And uh, I'll, I'll just pull my knife over here for a minute. Pop up another one so you can see. It's a little bit warm on the bottom because they just came out of the oven. Look at that, huh? So, if you're not a member of my channel, it's called Love and Keto Runs Weight Loss Journey. I have 310 subscribers. And the more subscribers I get, eventually the money becomes, uh, the channel becomes monetized where I get a little bit of money from it each month. But you're gonna have so many subscribers, so many um, viewing time of hours. So I got 167 videos right now. This is gonna be number 168. This is the first time I ever made this and I am really happy. I mean, this came out really nice. This is another one, look at, look at that, how nice and brown that was. I mean, I mean you, you, you can't you can't you can't beat this I mean so what I'll do with these is I'll put them in a plastic bowl or a Ziploc bag I know you, you can make a bunch of these up ahead of time and put them in the refrigerator and you, and you got that you can cut that in half and use that for a hot dog bun you, like I said you can use that for a sandwich you can take two of two uh, these and, and make, make a nice uh, tomato sandwich out of these or uh, use them for a peanut butter jelly I mean, th th this is the best thing that I ever made so far since I've been on keto, and I'm and, and I'm not lying. But here's the thing: um, when I first started my ketogenic lifestyle, I made a lot of some similar stuff to this before, and I never started filming that out because I never thought at one point I would ever have 320 subscribers or 310. And since everybody's been uh, since they've been putting more and more recipes, I've been getting a lot more people that are curious about what this Ron eating a week. Why are you able to lose so much weight without weight loss surgery? Well, first of all, it's a lot of dedication and a lot of hard work and a lot of walking. Now, um, my back has been pretty good. I walked today. I did two miles of walking down at the mall area, and then we walked in one of the other stores. I went over to Today Marshalls, and uh, I've been feeling really good, except my legs giving out on me, and we're going we, we're gonna to be investigating that a little further, why that's giving out on me, but I, I suspect I'm going to probably need arthroscopic surgery at some point, but that's not a big deal anymore like it used to be. But yeah, look at how nice and golden brown these are, huh? I, I, just can't, I, just can't get, I just can't get over it. Here, open up another one for you. Look at that. Look at that. And I can, eat, I can eat this stuff all day long. You know what these, these are, and oh yeah, the other thing I did today too, I, uh, and this was a game changer. I absolutely love bacon, and bacon is great to have on the ketogenic lifestyle. 
And uh, so what I did was I got some Canadian bacon and I uh, put it in the oven for 400 degrees for 10 minutes on each side, nice and golden, crispy brown. And uh, so now what I'm gonna do tomorrow possibly, and uh, I'm gonna make a nice egg sandwich with a, one or two slices of Canadian bacon on top of this uh, sandwich over here. And maybe I'll use a little bit of the homemade mayonnaise that I made the other day. And incidentally, I've been making my, ho my own mayonnaise and I'll, and I'll film one out when I need a little more. But it's really, really simple to make mayonnaise, guys. It, 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 this is this spread right now is in my life right now is a game changer. I just can't get over how nice and golden brown that is. I say, look at that. I, I mean, come on, really? I mean, the prep time was about 20 minutes to prep that once I had everything all me measured out, and uh, they came out nice and golden brown. I'm very happy how this texture is. It feels like bread. It tastes like bread, and it's definitely in my eyes a game changer. So what I'm gonna do at this point, I'm gonna let these cool down a little bit and I'm gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and set them aside to put them in the refrigerator. And my wife says she wants to try one of these afterwards and I'll probably have at least another one on a sandwich that I have some, uh, on one of those tuna sandwiches that I made the other night. But yeah, I, I can't get us another one. Look how nice and brown that is, huh? Nice and golden brown. Uh, let me uh, show, show you guys. So you can definitely tell that that's my wife there. She's doing some laundry today. But look, look at that, huh? But uh, anyways, thank you for um, following me along. And like, thank you for all the nice comments you've been making about my weight loss journey and the nice posts and the quotes I put up in the morning. Um, the City Hall got a hold of me this past week and they wanted some more images from me because they're getting ready to upload the new website. And uh, the Fitchburg Sentinel finally hired me and looks like I'll be getting a little bit of money from them this coming month. And... You know, uh, I'm really happy about that, and anything I can do to help out the local paper, and and everything's going good. I, I, and uh, you know, I hated to give up that job at Hannaford's, but it was just too much for me to handle, and I was having a lot of issues with my leg and some other stuff that was going on that I didn't care for. But there was nothing wrong with working there. I mean, the people there were fantastic to work for. It was just a personal thing that I just needed to leave at the time, and it was taken away from this time that I like to do over here, my own personal time. Be retired for for a good number of years now and I want to stay retired and uh, the freelance photography is just a five minute in and a five minute out when I get paid for it. And look, at, look at that, huh? This is, like I said, these are game changer. Now what I, what I originally did with that, I meant to tell you, I had them rolled up in little balls and I was going to make uh, like dinner rolls, but actually I got the idea was just pressing them down with my palm of my hand. And I thought maybe, well, what better what better way than just make them like that? And then I can have like like the nice little sandwiches out of them. And the, these are, these are really great. I, I love these. I mean, like I said, this is a game changer. I'm so happy. That's why I had to come tell you guys right away that that this is the first time I ever did this. And look at how they came out. And I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so excited. So be watching for that video. Oh, one more piece of uh, good news. Um, my friend Steffi from the Incredible Shrinking Steffi and the Shrinkables on her Facebook page. Uh, she's never done a live. Uh, support uh, on YouTube so her uh, her and I and two other her fellow YouTubers are, are going to get together on the 12th of March be watching for that because we're going to have a Q&A session you're going to find this pretty interesting because I would consider myself now an expert in losing weight and to help people to get weight off but here's the kicker about that video the four the four of us combined we lost over 500 pounds a pre or pretty close to 500 so we all know what we're talking about when we talk about keto so I'll, I'll, I'll share the link when, when we do that. It'll be 2 o'clock in the afternoon on, on a Saturday. And uh, we're going to talk keto and any, and any question you want to ask us. But uh, it's going to be really fun and really exciting. And I'm really looking forward to this. And, uh, and I went down, yeah, I went down to the mall shopping today. I didn't really do any shopping, but I did some uh, window shopping. And I'm going to be picking up a... Uh, I talked to the girls and guys here at T-Mobile there, and those guys are fantastic over there. So this this coming week, I'm picking up a couple of Apple iPhones, the 13s, because she told me that uh, the 14s not quite out yet, and I'm fine with the 13. And uh, she, I, I'll be able to buy one and get one free, and I'm really happy about that. And I'll get two phone numbers instead of one. And so in case my wife needs to call me, we'll just have an extra phone in the house. And it's always good to have an extra phone. But look at that. Is that all of them nice and golden brown. These baked off at 400, by the way, in case I didn't uh, uh, mention that. They baked off at 400 about 8 to 10 minutes. And 
So when I post all this stuff afterwards, I'll have a complete set of instructions and a complete set of directions on how to make this and along with the video. So you're really gonna enjoy this video. So I highly suggest you watch this one. These are you, for this, you, you girls and guys that are struggling with your weight, or you just want to eat healthy this is gluten free this is perfectly fine guys but anyways enough said i'm gonna let you guys go remember you guys are amazing i love you guys stay safe stay healthy